question for you. Has it happened to you yet? Hello everybody, it is Danielle Iwata here. I am so happy to have you here back on my channel. I am reporting live all the way from Japan. <laughs> if you can't tell from my background, I'm actually in Japan. I am here in Japan visiting my husband's family and also studying Japanese. It's actually a traditional Japanese room that many houses have. It's like a, a spare room, a living room. The floor is actually woven straw really tightly. So you're not supposed to wear, <laughs> you're not supposed to wear shoes. A tatami room. This is our room actually and an office too. This is how I teach. Get used to sitting on your bum. <laughs> I have to learn to shift and shift shift a little. This video I'm making in collaboration with Say ABC. They wanted to make this video to get it out to the teacher community about a very important topic. Like I mentioned at the beginning, has it happened to you? There are times when certain situations happen in class that are not okay. They're not appropriate. They're not okay for you to have to deal with it as a teacher and frankly it just raises a whole bunch of issues. It's important for us to be prepared for those uncomfortable situations and how to deal with it. So this video is all about the mute camera function that Say ABC has released a couple of months ago, what it is, how to use it, when to use it, and when not to use it. What is this mute camera function? As the name notes, mute the camera, close the camera function. It's a function where you can turn off the student's camera. This is a new function that was released due to teacher demand to turn off the student's camera. So when you click it, turns off the student's camera. Why was this created? To avoid and protect yourself and students and say ABC from uncomfortable, dangerous, and just inappropriate classroom situations. as a teacher, it helps to protect you as a teacher. Say ABC has given us this tool to ensure that we're doing the best job that we can as a teacher and that we can direct our classes in a appropriate and the best way possible. If I'm teacher, I have student A, B, and C, and student A is doing something inappropriate, I can turn off student A's camera. What happens then? I and the other students, students B and C, will just see for that window where a student is as a gray screen and it won't affect the class. I can see the class. I can see the other two appropriate students. For the student that is having inappropriate behavior, they can also see the class and see the teacher and see everybody else, but we just can't see them. What circumstances do you use this mute camera function? A couple of circumstances. One, nudity. The child begins to or is exposing any part of their body and they're exposing themselves in a way that is not appropriate for any kind of classroom. Close it for nudity when they expose their private parts in front of the camera or expose other body parts inappropriately. Number two, you turn the camera off for any time that the student is using the bathroom. As a teacher, again, use your discretion. Some students don't announce what they're doing, but you can tell what they're doing you don't have to deal with it, you don't have to do anything, turn that off. Also, if they are being physically punished by their parents, that is a concrete situation that you as a teacher, you are entitled to turn that camera off. The fourth concrete situation is if the student is being extremely disruptive to the class and preventing other students learning. Again, that is a really broad statement, so I would suggest that you use your discretion when doing that. So those are the four situations that are really concretely lined out as to when you can definitely turn the camera off. Discretion is key. There's no way to really outline every single point or every single possible situation. Say ABC does review every incident where that you've turned off a student's camera, so don't turn it off willy-nilly. And again, if there's an extreme situation that maybe I haven't outlined, you can use that function at the discretion because Say ABC does review each incident. So what exactly happens when you turn off the camera function? I wouldn't particularly draw attention to a student's camera if I've turned it off, just 
turn it off and move on. On the student's end who is behaving inappropriately, a message in Chinese will appear to them that you are behaving inappropriately, your camera has been turned off by the teacher. I wouldn't even worry about explaining like, okay, student A, I'm gonna turn your camera off now because you are doing X, Y. If you see something happening, you don't have to deal with that because the message will appear in Chinese. You don't have to worry about that. As a teacher, the one the situations I've had most happen are the bathrooms. If I know a student's going to the bathroom or mom says, you know, Bao Bao is going to the bathroom now, I will say, okay, it is X time now. I'm going to turn your camera off for five minutes. See you in a bit. And I would just turn it off and move on for five minutes. You just turn it off. They know what's happened. You don't even have to explain to other students what's happened. Just move on. Use your discretion as to how you want to proceed. If you want to turn the camera back on or just leave it off the whole class, it's up to you. So those are the situations that Say ABC has clearly lined out that it's okay to turn the camera off. It's fine. Now, I just want to briefly go over certain situations that you don't turn the camera off. For. Number one. You do not turn the camera off when a student is eating or drinking. I've had students who like, they are eating their 15 course dinner in the middle of their lesson, slurping, chewing, every kind of thing. However, that is not warrant for turning off their camera. That is what the mute button is for. And that's why this, I think the Say ABC platform is great because you can have the option to automatically mute all students and only have the one who's participating on. Or if there's one problematic student, you can just press their mute button if they are chewing or slurping. <laughs> you just mute them. So that would not be a situation to turn their camera off. The reason to not turn the student's camera off is if they have background noise. Many of our little students, they live with their mom, their dad, their extended family. After school, there might be a lot of people in the house and there might be a lot of background noise. They're getting dinner ready. People are coming home. Life is happening. So they might be background noise. And again, that is where the mute function, the mute audio function would come in. You can just press mute for their audio and that would resolve the issue without having to close their camera completely. You want to conduct your class in a way that all students and teachers will get the benefit. Background noise is not ideal, but it's not really a reason to turn their camera off, is it? And a third reason why you would not need to turn the camera off is if a student is coming to class with a toy gun or a toy knife or pretending to shoot you with their toy gun. I know it could be a bit startling to see that. However, that's not a reason to turn their camera off completely. When they're having bad behavior or they're just trying to elicit a reaction out of you, I found generally, generally, the best thing that works is to just ignore it. Ignore it. <laughs> if you don't add wit to that fire, they will move on to something else. You don't want to turn off a student's camera unless it's absolutely necessary. Because you, again, as a teacher, want to conduct your class in a way that all students and you are safe, happy, and in the best way possible. That's it for this video, guys. I wanted to keep it short and sweet and to the point so you can get the information you need and move on to doing an amazing job as a teacher. In the ESL world, a lot of times, uncomfortable or inappropriate situations can and do happen. It's unfortunate that it does, but I'm really glad to say ABC, this function was developed due to feedback from teachers complaining that, ah, my student's undressing and I have nothing I can do, or they're going to the bathroom and I have nothing I can do. So thank you Say ABC for listening to us teachers and giving the tools that we need to conduct our classes in the correct way and giving us this function. So I hope guys this video has been helpful, that it helps you understand how this function works, what happens for you as a teacher, what happens for the students, and when to use and not use this function. I uh, love working with Say ABC. I help many teachers to get on board and get hired. So if you are interested, feel free to use my link below in the comments. Once you do use that link, please shoot me an email. It's also below. I have guides and resources that I can send you to help you through the process. I also have an Instagram. I will leave all of those links below and happy teaching guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.